How to install a close coupled toilet. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a close coupled toilet. You'll need a drill with driver and drill bit, an adjustable spanner, sharp knife, silicon sealant and gun, a large and a small adjustable wrench, spirit level, Phillips posi drive and flathead screwdrivers, and a tape measure. Start by preparing the bathroom. Make sure there is an appropriate water supply for the system. Insert the two fixing bolts into the bottom of the system. Remove the bottom fixing nut and two washers from the bottom of the flush valve and insert the flush valve into the system. Now replace the two washers and the fixing nut, tightening it with the adjustable wrench, making sure you don't over tighten. Insert the inlet valve into the system base and replace the washers and nut tightening with the smaller adjustable spanner and making sure you don't over tighten. Place the large connecting donut washer over the flush valve pipe. The cistern is now ready to connect to the pan. Carefully lift the cistern and thread the bolts through the holes in the pan. Place the washers and nuts onto the bolts and tighten up firmly by hand on both sides. You can then tighten them up fully by using a flathead screwdriver inside the system and a wrench on the bottom nut, again making sure you don't over tighten. Now insert the pan connector into the waste pipe and gently push the pan and system into place, making sure the pan connector goes onto the pan outlet snugly. Also mark on the floor where the edge of the pan sits on both sides and mark the location of the fixing bolt holes. Disconnect the pan from the connector and move it back out of the way. Measure the thickness of the wall where the bolt holes are. Then measure it from the marks you've made for the outside edge of the pan on both sides. Place the fixing brackets on the floor where the inside of the pan will be and mark the holes in the brackets on the floor. Using an appropriate drill bit for the surface, drill the holes in the floor for the brackets. Drill the holes for the cistern fixing in a downward angle and be sure to use the right size fixings and screws for the hole. Place the floor brackets with the slotted side down and screw them down into the floor on both sides. Now put the toilet back into position. Wrap some PTFE tape around the thread for the inlet valve then connect the flexi hose water supply to the system. Tighten by hand, then finish off with an adjustable spanner. Slide the pan back onto the pan connector, making sure the holes in the top of the system align with those in the wall. Now fit it to the floor by placing the plastic washers onto the fixing bolt and screw it into the bracket. Place the chrome cap over the screw head to finish. Now repeat with a second bolt on the other side. Use metal washers to attach the cistern into the wall. These will spread the pressure from the screw and prevent the ceramic becoming damaged. Once this is done, check the cistern is level. Insert the button mechanism into the hole into the cistern lid, making sure the plastic pegs run parallel to the front and back of the lid. Now screw it into place with a plastic nut. The cistern is dual function, full flush or half flush to save water. Now place the lid onto the cistern. Switch on the water supply, test the flush and check for any leaks in the pipes. Wipe the floor around the pan to remove any dirt or dust before applying a line of silicon sealant to the joint between the pan and the floor. Finally, wipe smooth with a wet finger Leave to dry for 24 hours. Job done.